Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in a term of having. When I use the quiet morning hours to do my work, or the middle of the night hours to do what I need to do to make a living, I find it fascinating that there's always someone who wants to ply by in the morning in the nanny nanny boo boo run. Today it was a white man who's obviously a policeman or a sheriff. And what I can say to these people who work in retail is they have costed their lives before God. A person who doesn't know where their boundaries begin and end will always interfere with a human life. But what I recognize about retail employees is if they find someone who comes in their store that makes them ill at ease for their own stupidity of life, they will often remove the product from the shelf that the person is looking for. They will pretend that they're not getting shipments. There is a point at which a company will stop buying a product. But there is also a point in which an employee refuses to put it out because she doesn't like either selling them or she doesn't like the product or she is thinking that if she gets rid of it for a time, the person will stop visiting their store. In life, we have moments of time to see the truth about American citizens, that American citizens have forgot their heritage and forgotten their birth. A birth record, a birth certificate belongs solely and uniquely to the individual. There are some states that allow a parent to pick up a copy of a birth certificate, but there is no state law that allows a parent or a sibling to interfere with someone's rights to their birth certificate. A lying brother or a foolish mother might try to interfere with a human life, but a total stranger that is attacking someone's life, body, or in any inappropriate way can end up in a lot of places including dead today in life we have to recognize where our life lines lie a lifeline is the people that we work with a lifeline is also the partner of our life and a lifeline could be an animal because of how animals respond to people but in life we do not have any rights to play games on people's bodies, clothing, or rights. The fools of a black community do this. They want to play massa in a way that is offensive to even hear it, even if you're white. The truth is that people do see color, because on every survey for every restaurant and every accessible online community network, that is asking for feedback for a company, it asks you point blank your age demographics, or generally what it is, and your actual ethnicity. So that says these content information, these descriptors of our life are important to someone. It allows them to collect data of what people are like, and data of what people want to buy, and data of what they do buy. But the fools of retail think they're above their customers to the point that they mock them sometimes for what they buy, instead of encouraging them to buy other things that relate to their projects, relate to their parties, relate to the purposes of which they're purchasing from that store. Most people value a good value. We are very fortunate that we import a lot of things from foreign countries that are made very inexpensively. Not only does it help the wealthy to put on great parties, but it also helps the poor to survive. When I'm talking, I'm of course talking about my two favorite stores at the present time. One has improved its vendors to that company, and I'm pretty sure that some of that impact was mine. You see, people often take stories. When I started hitting McDonald's for some support, for my ministry, they started changing the stories of marketing their employees. When I did other things towards the White House in the political realm, they started using a graphic I suggested to them. There is always a corporate person who will lie about their ideas on behalf of their job. There is always an individual who thinks it's okay to rob someone poor and take their property from them because, hey, they're poor, they won't miss it. That's not true. There is always a sibling that will lie about their rights to records and other things that don't belong to them. You see, liars are a part of life today. 
But the problem that they always forget when they're working their way through a community, stalking people who sit in a driveway or a parking lot for their petty cash, is that they have failed to recognize what people think of them. They also fail to recognize the rage people feel towards them, and they fail to recognize the nuisance they're being in a community. When a man like me is approached by people, I am always incredibly cautious. I am very, very clear on financial abuse because I've experienced it mainly in the last couple years of my life from family that want to lie about their rights over me. I don't associate with those people anymore because they failed me completely in their minds and then they went about trying to fail me with their ideologies, with their lies, and with their activities. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth of a situation. The true aspect of a reporter across any land or any nation is to tell the truth so people are prepared for what is happening around the community or what is happening in the world today. Human trafficking and video game networking are something of not the past. They are very much present in every community and we must teach children how to last. When I speak in rhyme, it's to make sure you're paying attention. When I speak in time, it's to make sure you're willing to listen. But if you're not willing to listen to me, that's on your life. But when you cross the line into someone else's life without any aspect of accountability in your mind, you have filled yourself before Christ. The reason that most of America is no longer Christian in truth of practice meaning they go on Sunday or Saturday or Thursday or Friday to a service to worship is because fellow Christians have failed to evangelize correctly the love of the Lord, the light of God, and everything that is stood for in that religion.